Hey everyone, you are tuned in to another free mad podcast. Little short video, I, I wanted to, it's more of a libertarian food for thought, and it's even for conservatives. I, I imagine if I have one liberal uh, friend, I use in quotations, who would actually want to tune in and give a crap, I'd, I'd probably take it as a compliment, because, well, there's plenty of conservatives that don't like me, so, whatever. Now, I did want to, I I'd had uh, some, my notes right here. And no, I'm not going to edit that out. I, I Screw it. Why not just roll with it? Like the backwards Ricky Gervais of the libertarian world. A guy that stumbles, has got a mustache and a big hat. Who cares? All right. One of my, one of the little ironic things I was focusing on there was a push to do away with consumer protection for gun companies because of shootings. And uh, these were gun manufacturers. And there was, there's legal defense. It, it takes a lot to, I guess, uh, sue somebody if a gun is used. It's a, it's a consumer product. Uh, I hate to put it that way, but somebody uses that product and somebody else loses their life and there's... Uh, there's more stumbling blocks to establish liability, you know, trying to get money out of somebody. And the irony is that, of course, around every corner, there's some major, eh, some major lawyer, attorney, uh, bloodsucker that wants to make a dime off of them. Because like any, like cars, somebody always wants to make a couple million dollars. There's a scum sucker around every corner who wants to sue somebody. We have baby powder, we have, we had baby powder, we had cars, we had airbags, we've had, oh lord, Fin Fin, I mean, just keep going, there's a blood circle around every corner. And you ask me why, why I bring this up. We, the politicians, unfortunately I didn't pass any law because I didn't want a law passed. I don't want lawsuits to begin with. But it says... People ask, are like, why can't I not sue um, the pharmaceutical companies for certain for certain issues? And I had mentioned FinFin and other. I mentioned about other drugs. Uh, there was, there's been various ones. Uh, they had to pull them off the market. Yes, I think that was um, uh, certain types of birth control and pelvic floor. I mean, pharmaceutical uh, uh, medical companies, medical device like pelvic mesh and things like that focusing specifically on pharmaceuticals we had very we just had uh the the huge uh purdue pharmaceutical one making uh it was oxycontin and stuff like that it's yeah it's you go read about it i'll, I'll put some links below I'll, or at least i'll try to remember to do that and one of the ironies now i i want you to kind of stew about and think about is that when a lot of the American people, a cross section, don't think that uh, the beer bug, I think you know what I'm talking about, they don't, I mean, it's not that big of a deal to certain people. Oh, yeah, it's bad. It's killed people. I've had family members die from it, friends, family, whatever. And the irony is that we have a rush to go get these vaccines. And I said one of the magical words to get my video buried. We had a rush to get inoculated. And we had all these companies chomping at the bit to make a dime off of it. And you heard me right. I think it's just to make a dime. Um, what are they going to do? Prove me wrong and say, hey, we don't make money off of this? We have governmental entities throwing money at some of their biggest lobbyists. And you know what? It's a cycle. They don't do it for me. And that was one of my things. I'm going to tell you, this is why can't we sue over these vaccines? And when it starts making people sick and yeah, you're going to find out they're like, oh, they passed a bill to give them, make it harder to sue them over that kind of stuff. And I'm going to say they, they get carte blanche to do what they want, but they get a lot of, uh, liberties i like to use that word they get a little legal liberties more than more than other 
you know, exalted institutes of uh, corporative uh, mention. And I would ask you, I want you to go and ask yourself, you know, why can't I sue the vaccine manufacturers? Say you actually have a real complaint, a real tort. And nope, they passed a law. They jumped at it real quick. And you know what? You know what the irony is? I blame you. I really do. I blame you. This is the government that you wanted. I, I was like, you, you don't want to fight against big government because you like big government. A lot of you do. And here's the thing. You always want something, and this is what you get. This is the government that you're, that's why I pay taxes. I want the government to do this. And you know what? That's Karen and Todd there. They're real, real peak idiocy on your part, American people. These are your politicians. We, we, we've survived without a CDC and then these unelected bureaucrats and these people that push things together that they have their own lobbying efforts and they get their own cretins there. And you act like doctors don't, you know, the American Medical Association and people like this don't have a way in. They have their foot in the door. They're lobbyists. Oh, they're doctors. We have to trust them. No, trust yourself. We've been on this planet this long. We survived. Some magic wand. It's crap. Now, I want you to ask yourself again and, and call your senators and your, your representatives and tell them, hey, this is stupid. Why do these people get, ex you know, to get, you know, to have like almost like a, by the hand of the holy church of the statist, you know, the high priest of, you know, ex well, not exolution, uh, uh, uh absolution you get absolved of of your sins and they just you know wave their arm and it's crap that i don't trust these people I, hell i don't trust you as taxpayers maybe you should you shouldn't have done it to begin with depending on somebody you don't know i wouldn't depend on my neighbor to do the right thing why would i depend on some stranger from you know bfe nowhere and you know what? I don't depend on a doctor because they, they get magically get a piece of sheepskin that says they're awesome. I mean, at one time, they got doctors to tell everybody they could smoke Charlestons or whatever they're called. I mean, I have a buddy we call a doctor, and he says you should smoke Captain Black. Pipe tobacco. Go for it. He's a doctor. You can trust him. There you go. Anyway, think about it. When you call your senator and, and your representative, why did we let them have this this magic wand carte blanche here to to say says why can't I sue over these the manufacturer of these vaccinations if I have an actual tort or complaint or if I have been wronged? And ask yourself, have you been wronged? Is there a tort? Do you have a complaint? And don't go to the CDC. Yeah, you heard me right. Don't go to the CDC because they're a lobbyist arm of these people. Or no, they're not a lobbyist arm. They're the, the political wing of a lobbyist arm. It, I didn't elect these clowns. I really don't want to elect them. And the irony is I don't even want to throw rocks at Dr. Fauci like I usually do or Dr. Burks with her snazzy, snazzy scarves or neckerchiefs or scarves, whatever. I've worn one whatever don't judge me i'm not a doctor but you could call me reverend if you'd like i don't i don't uh it's like the church of the painful truth here but ask yourself why can't i sue vaccine manufacturers it's a product a good or a service you can sue anybody else if you have a real complaint why not why do these people why do they need that much trust you can sue churches People sued the Catholic Church, diocese, individual diocese. That's a nonprofit. I was like, yeah, supposedly nonprofit, and you can sue them. And you know what? Why can't you sue people who put na nasty vaccines in you? Think, think about it, folks. This is, this is, yeah, you screwed up. You let your politicians basically do everything for you. Don't be surprised. All right, folks. 
as always, and I'm going to do my best I can. Uh, there we go. I think that's the notifications. I believe there's subscribe. Further over is like button. Further, further, further down. There's links. It should be to uh, hopefully a couple of different things about uh, lawsuits and things like that. But go to Twitter, Parler, Gab. Still, I'm still there. I also send your hate mail to email, my email address all the way down. And you know what? You're probably going to send me spam. Some of you clowns do. Have at it. You know what? If it changes your life that much, you could send me send me some advertisements or just whatever. I, I really sometimes I pray for some of you clowns. And I hope I hope I hope your life works out for you, man. I really do. But in the meantime, please take care of yourself. And greetings from Lower Mogadishu.